Now you might be wondering why I have to shoot so many shots into these bots. Well, that's something that you guys should be practicing a lot as well to make sure that your aim is actually on point. You wanna put, you wanna go into a private match pretty much and put the bots on to max health. And that's gonna help you a lot, but we're gonna go more into that in a second. What I wanna talk today about is a lot of things to actually help you get your accuracy a lot better, to play a lot better, and to just win most of your gunfights in terms of just playing this game in general. So one thing you wanna do, at least when playing this game, is definitely go into your settings. Go into your settings and you're going to want to go to controller if you're playing with a controller and what you're going to want to do here is do a lot of things. So what I like to do is play flipped. Now I'm playing with a PlayStation 5 controller. If you're playing with an Xbox, it might not feel as comfortable, but definitely put this on flipped and it's going to help you guys shoot a little bit quicker. You're going to shoot with L1 and R1 rather than L2 and R2, which means the input is going to be a little bit faster. So there won't be much of an input delay. So that's going to feel a lot better. And then you could go to advanced and you could play around with a couple of things here as well. So your aim assist type, I honestly leave it on default. You guys can put it on precision, black ops, whatever you like. Default to me just feels the best. Now, a lower sensitivity, I always say it, and I'm gonna always say it forever, a lower sensitivity is not as good as a lot of people think. So a lot of people might go all the way down to like, let's say a three, all right? So let's put that to three on both, but I wanna show you guys an example here quickly. So let's get into the game. Three is slow, that is slow. Now, luckily in this game, it's not like this the whole way around. It actually gets faster as you're spinning, so that's not as bad. But let's say there's an enemy right here at this number three. Actually, that's kind of a good coincidence. Actually, let's kill this guy fast. Oh my God, they're coming everywhere. Guys, I'm trying to show something. Something. Relax, bots. Okay, so anyways, yeah, let's say there's an enemy right there. Actually, there is. And you're running in this direction. And then you start getting shot at. By the time you turn around, if this wasn't the bot and this was an actual player online, I would have been dead. It just takes way too long to turn around. Now, the good thing about playing on a low sensitivity like this, though, is that if you are facing them, you can start lining up your shots really nicely. And especially if you're the type it doesn't have very good accuracy and stuff, you can line it up before you even ADS and get those shots. Now, I want to talk about a higher sensitivity quickly, because this is the one that I feel is a lot better. Now, if you, or not, not too high either, because a lot of people play on 20 and stuff and I don't find that too good now personally I play vertical 11 and horizontal 10 I feel like that's kind of good I, I play vertical higher because I want to be able to look higher faster just in case there's someone up these stairs or something I want to be able to look up there really really fast as well now the good thing about this sensitivity is let's imagine someone's right there if I start getting shot at all I got to do is turn around look at that right there turn around shoot him really really fast now if this was a line I would have went behind the wall and then popped out like that and probably got him as well so a higher sensitivity allows you guys to turn around just a little bit faster and not over shoot your shots if i was on a 20 imagine i was on a 20 right now and i'm trying to like shoot there by the time i look i might overshoot i might look too far to one of the sides before i actually get my accuracy on point imagine this is someone this little box is someone right here i'm turned around i might overshoot like that and then have to readjust which is not too good either. Now, when you're ADSing, you want to fix that sensitivity as well. And your ADS sensitivity, and I'm going to talk about dead zones as well in a second here. Not graphics, controller. So your ADS sensitivity, what you want to do here is just kind of leave it a little bit lower than what it's set to. So I, I put mine at 0.95. And what 0.95 does is it allows me to ADS and kind of stick to the target a little bit. If he was moving, it would be a lot easier to see. Look at that. Like the, AD, the, the ADS sensitivity at 0.95 especially when the target is moving, kind of works like aimbot. It sticks to them a lot easier, I find. It's just really nice to stay on target when actually shooting at them, and your recoil isn't gonna have a hard time shooting these bots either, so that's what I really like a lot. For aim response curve type, I play on linear, people play on standard. I find linear is really good, especially if you're trying to like directly stick onto the target and stuff. It's gonna feel really weird at first if you do put it on, but it is a lot better to play at. Now, one thing you wanna go is into, into input dead zones right here, all right? So I put my left trigger all the way at zero and my right trigger all the way at zero. So the second I even tap these buttons, it starts to shoot really instantly. Now my left stick is at 0.99 and my right stick minimum is at, and my left stick minimum is at 0.0. Five. This is the default, I believe. This right here, if you put it higher, you're giving yourself a huge disadvantage when you get into gunfights. So let's say someone puts it at 0.50, all right? That's the left stick. If I just move my stick a little bit, it doesn't even move practically, right? I have to really throw it all the way to the side in order for it to move. So if you're moving just slightly like that, it barely moves whatsoever. And that, that way you're giving yourself a huge disadvantage. Let's say you wanna do that and you go into a gunfight and stuff and you start, and someone starts shooting at you and stuff, you're gonna have to move your, your stick all the way to the side just to be able to shoot at them. So to me, I, I wouldn't recommend doing that ever again. Dead zones, leave it at the default. That way you don't give yourself a, a disadvantage. You're gonna you're gonna give yourself a, a pretty much a, a fair fight. And if you put it even lower, this, if you have stick drift, I don't recommend doing whatsoever. But if you put it even lower, the second you just tap it, it it's already moving. 
you, you don't even have to touch it or anything practically just tapping it moves it and if you put it to your right stick it shows even more but i don't want to do that just in case i forget to like put it back but anyways yeah so that right there honestly 0.5 is decent the higher you put it the worse it is now if you do have stick drift if you do have that that's when i recommend actually putting that a little higher so that your your character like a lot of people are playing this game and they're automatically turning to the right okay because their their stick is like broken put your dead zone up a little bit so that way when it does maybe to like 0.15 that way it will stop doing that movement on its own you're gonna actually have to force it to do that now another thing i want to talk about is centering all right you want to center your shots so let's say you're running around the map a lot of people will run like this then turn the corner okay instead of doing that what you want to do is have your crosser already aimed in the center here so that when you come if someone is there Hold up, let me get away from these bots. They're getting annoying. So a good example is right here. You, a lot of people come here, they turn this corner, they jump or something, and then they aim to see where the enemies are. But what you want to do instead is actually have your center dot already pointed at the center of the screen. So if there is someone there, all you got to do is ADS and you pretty much snap on them right away. So that this way, you don't have to like worry about focusing your aim and stuff. Even here too, when you turn here, don't go like this and then look. Don't just run out there in the open. Go like this and know that there could be someone there. Know that there could be someone over here at the head glitch and stuff. There, You see him right there? There he is. Right here is a big one. Right here, you're going to want to point here, and then when you get here, just start ADSing already right there, just in case. There's usually someone there, so that, that's why I recommend that. See, I was able to snap on the target right there. If I did this instead and then looked, I could have got shot at. And something that's underutilized is actually peeking. So what you want to do is go like that, and see, I just saw him right there. I see him coming this way now. I know exactly where he's at, and now I know there's more there. So this way, I could just go ahead and get into this gunfight and just kind of go off on these guys. That's a good one too. Like you could jump over here, see if someone's coming in the center. Try not to mantle. I have auto mantle on, but let's say you go to the guy there. You see he's right there. There you go. You just pop out and start shooting at him. Another thing you're going to want to focus on is not doing jump shots because jump shotting in this game actually gives you a disadvantage. You ADS slower, your sprint to fire slower. Everything is slower when you jump shot. Instead, you want to practice your drop shotting. Your drop shotting is not going to give you any disadvantage at all. And it's actually going to help you win gunfights. It's going to be really hard for the enemies to be able to see you or shoot you, I should say. They're going to lose you in your sights and you're just going to basically go off on them. So drop shotting, in my opinion, at least in this game, is a lot better than jump shotting. Jump shotting, look, like you jump, you ADS slower, you jump lower, you're just an easier target to hit overall. But when you drop shot, and as you guys can see, I'm drop shotting with a basic PS5 controller. I have no extra fancy buttons. I have nothing to actually help me with these drop shots or anything. I'm doing it playing with a basic controller, not even playing claw. Now the last important thing, at least one of the most important things that people under talk about, and I'm gonna talk about the private match in a second here, but one thing that people don't talk about enough is the actual recoil pattern of weapons. So you wanna take a weapon, and now we're, we're gonna go actually and change my loadout here quickly, because I wanna show you guys what you wanna be looking for. We're gonna take off every single attachment, let the bots kill me, it's all good. We actually want to die here so i'll hold my grenade unless they could kill me faster ah suicide bomb bang i got no one with me okay so yeah you want a base gun okay you don't want any attachments on it you want to go and just kind of see what the recoil pattern is go to an empty wall like this start shooting and don't hold the right stick don't hold it at all and kind of get a feel for that recoil so this one goes up it's very vertical and then after a few shots it goes crazy to the side it goes horizontal like crazy so if you shoot at the enemies you should know that after a few shots you're gonna have to adjust it so that you can start start shooting a little and start aiming with your stick a little more to the left because it's going to start going up to the right. You're going to want to control that. So right here, this is where you should know. Like you should be working on. Let's see right away. Let's see if it's the same pattern all the time. At close range, kind of stays pretty nice. And then you can go even further and test out the far range again. So we go like that. And yeah, there you go. It goes up and then to the right, kind of like a C. I didn't even touch that anywhere like that. So now that we kind of figured out the recoil for this weapon, hey, we are all on my team now. Thank God. I'm tired of these guys shooting me. So yeah, now that we figured out the recoil for this weapon, and like it goes up and then it goes to the right, vertical is very easy to control. So when you're trying to control vertical, you just hold down and pretty much that's it right there. As you guys can see, very, very easy to control. Horizontal is the one that's a little bit harder to control when you get into gunfights, because that's where your gun's going to start going like this in the middle of a gunfight. So what you want to do for these attachments, at least for a weapon like this, the ISO hemlock is you want to give it recoil control, but it's something that gives horizontal recoil control as well, or recoil stabilization to kind of keep it centered. So yeah, the last thing you want to do is you want to get into a private match, put the bots on 250 health, not 300. They don't need to be that high. Put them on 250 health, throw them on recruits and just go off on them. Just have fun on them. You could put the radar always on. And what you want to do when you're actually going off on them is don't just start shooting at them and looking at the mini map and seeing where they're at. Use the mini map, look at and see where they're at, but pretend you don't know they're there and practice what I told you. 
do your little peak shots see where they're coming from center your shots like that and then right here let's say instead of just running straight out here center your shots start start practicing you want to center it see if someone's there pop up here to peek it and stuff and it's just going to help you out so much those are all things i just do naturally when playing to figure stuff out like normal people would probably just run through here and not even think of it and then they'll come here and they'll, they'll start turning after and stuff and probably die instead what you want to do is you want to always make sure that you have cover in front of you as well so right here we got this in front of us blocking us from there so if someone does pop up there we could always just go behind here and wait them out and then this way you could also run here stay behind the cover pop up see if someone's there and then you can move forward and then always make sure that you're centering those shots do the little peek and then go like that right there so yeah just run around center shoot the bots run around again center those shots shoot the bots and do what you got to do maybe there's someone in the window bang 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 you got him right there right here this is a high traffic area see there's already a bot there so you're gonna go like that and then you could even do a little drop shot in the corner like this and then just start shooting at someone or if you want to be really hard to see go up here if you know that there's no enemies here or here and then you can go like that and start shooting them as they come through so hopefully this video helps you guys out helps you guys get better at the game and helps you get more kills and raise that kd this game has a weird skill based matchmaking so you're gonna want to use these to actually help you out now here's a little good spot that you guys can use to kind of see if you can see red dots through there and then you'll know there's an enemy right there if anything yeah that's gonna be it for the video if you guys enjoyed it drop a like sub to the channel if those notes are not thank you guys for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one Peace.